everybody, JP Styles 85 here, and uh, this is my PlayStation 3 uh, video log on another repair project. And um, I was very curious if this would work or not. And I get the typical red or yellow light of death. And as you can see, I'm about to switch the button here, and this is your usual result with an older PlayStation 3 model. This is a 40 gig PS3 and it just doesn't work. Green, amber, red. Very sad. As you can see right here, there's plenty of dust. How on earth this machine can breathe? Obviously it couldn't. Look at the dust, that is absolutely filthy. That is a huge build up and no wonder this machine overheated and caused the problem of red light, red light of death. That is really feral, disgusting. And then here I'm just having a look at the main board. Typically the, the thermal paste does dry up, it does get a bit crusty. And I'm just having a look at the GPU, CPU. And here I'm using a heat gun. I'm using low heat. You need to do this for 20 to 30 minutes, stay patient. Constantly moving the heat gun from side to side. Give special attention to the CPU, GPU, and then just keep moving on. Do this for 20 to 30 minutes, take your time. Give it another half an hour to cool down after when you finish. Do not move the board. Okay, so I got this PlayStation 3 back together loosely, no screws, no top cover. So I just plug in HDMI, power cable, flip the switch on. It hasn't flashed back yet. Got a picture on the screen. Try a uh, PlayStation 3 disc, and so now the PlayStation hasn't crashed on me. Alright, so they accept the disc. Okay, it's got a blue light. It's been a while since I've seen a, one of these up in action. Normally I play the Slim. Seems like that load. Pretty good. So yeah, so this is running pretty good. So heating up the CPU, GPU on the main board, done the trick. Just have it on low heat and uh, don't go too crazy with uh, the heat, I guess. Just let it build up and Keep moving the heat gun around. There it is, the game works, the controller works, so uh... But the job is not done yet, because I've got to pull this this thing apart again. Put some thermal paste on the GPU, CPU, because I just haven't bothered doing it. And give this machine a real clean out, and then I'll show you the final product when it's all back together properly. Well, it's been on for over an hour, and I did clean up this console the best I can. Um, and I'm getting rid of all the dust out of the machine. Um, God, there was so much dust, I swear that someone was cremated in, inside it. It was uh, crazy, the amount of dust. So anyway, that's my repair on a PlayStation 3 Red Light of Death. Yeah, the only bad thing is, you know, yeah, that warranty sticker had to go. But all oh, that's the same. So yeah, um, the only thing I struggle to clean up is that sticker that they had on there. So I've got to clean that up a little bit more. But inside, I've pulled everything apart. Um, even took out the fan and cleaned the base plastic and got rid of all the dust. 
So uh, anyway, that's my video log on my recent repair. So this is only a 40 gig PS3, so not sure I'm going to use it a lot because I've got other PlayStations to use, but I'll, it's got to be a handy little backup machine. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys.